Hello, Alabama. Talking about Caleb Downs, after Proctor's recent return to Alabama, I'll list five reasons why Downs should have returned as well and would still have more opportunity at Alabama. But, before the news, subscribe and keep receiving more Bama updates. Caleb Downs, a safety player from Ohio State and a rising star in the college football scene, has been a subject of speculation regarding a possible reversal of his decision to transfer to Ohio State some time ago, especially after the news of Caden Proctor's transfer back to Alabama. Although Downs has reiterated his commitment to the Buckeyes, there are compelling arguments that could justify a return to the Crimson Tide. Here are five reasons why Caleb Downs might consider returning to Alabama. Opportunity to compete in a prestigious program. Alabama is widely recognized as one of the most successful and respected programs in college football. A return to the Crimson Tide would offer Downs the opportunity to compete in a highly competitive environment and under the guidance of renowned coaches, which could broaden his prospects for development and exposure in the sport. Possibility of greater national visibility. Playing for Alabama would provide Downs with a larger platform to shine on a national level. The program has a track record of success in high-profile competitions, such as the college football playoffs, and a significant presence in the media. This could increase his chances of being noticed by NFL recruiters and other professional levels. Potential to win titles and individual awards. Alabama has an impressive history of achievements, including national and regional titles, as well as individual awards for outstanding players. A return to the Crimson Tide could put Downs in a position to compete for these honors and contribute to the team's success in its pursuit of championships. Familiarity and Previous Connections Downs has already had a previous experience at Alabama before his transfer to Ohio State. His familiarity with the program, coaching staff, and university environment could make a return to the Crimson Tide a smoother and more comfortable transition for him, facilitating his integration and adjustment to the team. Additional Support and Resources Playing for Alabama means having access to top-notch resources, including state-of-the-art training facilities, academic support, and professional development opportunities on and off the field. And of course, counting on the passion of Crimson Tide fans as a great resource to motivate him to be even better. Who knows, maybe he'll come back to Bama? Who knows? Now see. Two Alabama freshmen who will make an immediate impact for the Tide. Alabama's new crop of recruits, selected under the guidance of Nick Saban, has followed the established tradition, with a class full of high-level talent, a characteristic that has become synonymous with the legendary college coach. However, even with Saban's departure, some changes have occurred, notably the transfer of promising five-star quarterback Julian Sayan, who chose to join safety Caleb Downs in the state of Ohio. Despite this, coach Kalen DeBoer and his staff managed to maintain stability, ensuring the retention of most recruits. More than half of the new students enrolled for the spring semester, with 20 participating in early practices and nine more scheduled to join in the fall. Among these new faces, there is growing anticipation about who will have an immediate impact and who will ease the transition from high school to college. On the defensive front, a standout name is Safety Red Morgan. Although recruited as a four-star athlete in a class featuring several five-star defenders, such as Jalen Backwe and Xavier Mincy, Morgan seems to be in a prime position to make his mark in 2024. While Mbakwe, Mincy, and Zabian Brown possess remarkable talent, the arrival of corners Domani Jackson and Deshaun Jones via transfer raises questions about the wisdom of throwing them directly into the fire in the early stages of their careers. In this regard, Morgan, hailing from Phoenix City, Alabama, has stood out in spring practices, thus gaining valuable experience and preparing to contribute significantly in the fall. As for the offense, while five-star wide receiver Ryan Williams is an obvious choice, 
His youth and need to adapt to the college level suggest it is prudent to give him time to fully develop. In this context, Caleb Odom, a former tight end converted to wide receiver, emerges as a promising option. Standing at an imposing 6-5, Odom caught coach's attention after an impressive spring, leading to his transition to the wide receiver position. Jermaine Burton's departure to the NFL and injuries to Jalen Hale opened up space for Odom to shine, offering quarterback Milrow a sizable target with reliable hands and athletic abilities that promised to wreak havoc on the opposing secondary. While they may not have been the most highly touted players in their respective high school classes, both Morgan and Odom fill essential gaps in the Alabama team and are well-positioned to make immediate contributions. Expectations are high for both to make their mark this fall, thus bolstering Crimson Tide's ambitions for the season. Jalen Hurts, a big name from Bama and also Oklahoma, recently found himself facing an intriguing question. Which of the two institutions left the most lasting memory in his career? Since his draft by the Philadelphia Eagles in 2020, the discussion about his collegiate legacy has been a heated debate among fans of Alabama and Oklahoma. Hertz, throughout his journey in college football, has amassed a wealth of memories, but it is one particular recollection that has remained etched in his mind as the favorite. Surprisingly, this special memory dates back to the beginning of his three-year stint at Alabama, a period that would shape not only his career, but also the narrative of his journey as a college football player. During his three years at Alabama, Hertz established himself as a starter in his freshman and sophomore seasons, compiling impressive numbers. 4,861 yards and 40 touchdown passes, along with 1,809 yards and 21 touchdowns on the ground. However, it was a pivotal moment in the 2018 National Championship against Georgia that stood out as the apex of his time with the Tide. At halftime, with Alabama trailing 13-0, Hertz was replaced by backup quarterback Tua Tagovailoa, who led a remarkable comeback, resulting in a 26-23 victory. Although Tagovailoa took over the starting position the following season, it was in the SEC championship game that the narrative shifted dramatically. Midway through the fourth quarter, with Alabama trailing 28-21 due to a Tagovailoa injury, Hertz entered the game and led an impressive comeback. With a touchdown pass and a rushing touchdown for the winning score, Hertz sealed not only the victory in that game, but also his legacy as one of the great players of the Saban era. Understanding that his opportunities would be limited in the following season, Hertz opted to transfer to Oklahoma, where he had an exceptional season, throwing for 3,851 yards and 32 touchdowns, along with rushing for 1,298 yards and 20 touchdowns. His performance earned him the runner-up title for the Heisman Trophy, further solidifying his position as one of the brightest talents in college football. Kendrick Blackshire, former linebacker for the Alabama Crimson Tide, announced his transfer to the Texas Longhorns after the conclusion of the 2023-2024 season. However, a surprising twist occurred Friday night when it was revealed that the Texas native would now be transferring to play for the University of Texas at San Antonio, UTSA. During his three years in Tuscaloosa, Blackshire primarily contributed in special moments and had moderate involvement as a Crimson Tide linebacker. His numbers at Alabama include 25 tackles, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery, highlighting his presence on the field during his time with the program. Following his junior season, Blackshire opted to transfer to the Texas Longhorns. However, after spending a period in Texas, he made the decision to once again enter the transfer portal. Now, he is moving even closer to his hometown to join coach Jeff Trailer and the UTSA Roadrunners. With his imminent arrival at UTSA, expectations are high to see what kind of role Blackshire will play in the Roadrunners' defense. 
His previous experience in prominent programs and his undeniable talent may bring a valuable contribution to the team as they seek to achieve their goals in the upcoming season. Success to Blackshire. And what's your opinion? Comment.